Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In my last video, we discussed about get mapping on how we can create a REST endpoint which will be used to fetch data from a various ways. Now in this video, we will be talking about post mapping where I'll show you how you can create a REST endpoints which will be used to create a resource in the background. So let's begin. So post mapping is basically used to handle the post type of request method. Post request is used to create a new resource. Like uh, suppose if uh, you want to create a new item in the DB, you can think of a situation like a dictionary. Okay. So if you want to fetch the data from a dictionary, so you will be using get mapping annotation. Now, if you want to add a new word to the dictionary, then you must use something called as post request where we will be using at the rate post mapping annotation so post mapping annotation is used to handle post type of request method to talk more about it at the rate post mapping is a composed annotation that act as a shortcut for at the rate request mapping so earlier the annotation was like at the rate request mapping where you have to specify what kind of method it is it is a post get or something now which has been minimized with a single word at the rate post mapping which i'll show you in the code so here i have created a new project for post mapping and i have taken the code from my last example for rest mapping so as you can see this get mapping for get all the items from the item db is something which we already discussed in the last session now on top of this i'm going to create a new endpoint for post mapping where we will be adding item to the item database so let me maximize this window now let's create a method public void add items and this method will be adding item for post request so first of all this method should be annotated as post mapping and we have to provide the url pattern that should be add items now what we want to add here is the item details so if you see like get all items is returning me the list of item where item is a java class so if i go and click here so this shows what is this item class contains item number item description and item price so if we come back to this so what i want to add now is i want to add the item details to my item db okay so this request must be expecting a object which will b of item type now this is a java class okay so for the spring boot it is important to make a spring boot understand that this is going to come as a request details right so for that there is a specific annotation called request body so this annotation makes sure that whatever details that will be provided for this particular post mapping methods will be treated as a request for the further processing and the request parameter whatever will be provided will be mapped to this particular java class automatically now this method declaration is done now the next thing that we will be doing is we will call the service to add item to the particular database so here the service is post mapping service which we have already created and here is the auto wired annotation has been done so that we can directly access the method for this service class so right now there is no add items method created yet so let me just provide add items and we will be passing item details here so since there is no method created yet it is throwing me error so let's create a add items method into the service class so if you notice here there is a method load items from db which is responsible to fetch the item details from the database right now it is hard coded and i have created a private variable which calls this method so this details will be loaded into this particular variable so the next thing that we have to do is items dot we have to add item right whatever is coming from the request and here request is item so i'm going to add this incoming item to this items array list and our job is done now once it is added i will just simply return a string variable saying that item added successfully so when we do that we have to change the method return type to a string now if we go back to controller so i'm going to return the whatever is coming from the service method so if that is the case then we have to change the return type of this method as well 
okay so just to clarify the service part once again i have taken this items variable which is nothing but the entire item detail that we are fetching from the database for the time being which is hard coded right now okay now i'm taking that items array list and adding the incoming request item into that list and then returning the string message and we are calling that particular add items method from this controller so now let's test this method so we'll go to this spring boot class right click run as java application now where should we test this post mapping so earlier in the get mapping we directly went to the browser and hit the request pattern as from this get mapping url pattern which is given here but for post mapping we have to provide item details as a request body right so for that testing we are going to use a tool called postman which is like very commonly used api testing tool you can quickly download this tool from google if you don't have it in your system and then if you come back here then we can create a sample request to hit the api so let's test the first get method so the request url pattern will be localhost 8080 on which the spring port is running and then rest slash get all items okay so rest slash get all items as soon as we hit that then it will return the item list which is coming from the service so these three item details is coming from the post mapping service which is written here now in order to test the post method let's create another request so here the url pattern will be rest slash add items right and the method type is post now under the header tab you have to provide the content type okay so content type for this will be application slash json because we are going to send the request parameter in terms of json now what will be there in the request body will be provided in the body section and under the row we are going to take a sample items here so let me copy one item details which will be going as a request parameter okay so here the item number will be four and uh, item description is item four description and price let's take at 400 once we do that and click on send the item should be added so it says item is added successfully then let's go back to this get request and fetch the item details again when i click on that here you go so we have this item four details has been added successfully okay so we have added a new item to this item list let's add one more so item five click on send item added successfully if we go back to get here you go so we have one more item which is item number five has been also added successfully now one important thing to tell you here is for this get request if you see here the status code is 200 okay and for post request also the status code is 200 which means your uh, endpoint request has been successfully completed and this says your response is successfully returned but what if you want to specify some specific returned code so let's go back to the code and then so what you can do is you can use one annotation called response status now under here you can specify the codes so the code should be like http status the various return code that you can utilize like for post the more meaningful is something which says created so if you have a post request then you are trying to add something you're trying to create a new resource so you can use this now let's stop the server and restart this project again so your application is started now now when you come back to this postman and suppose i want to add one more item here item number six and as soon as if i click on send your item is added successfully and if you notice the status code has changed to 201 which says created so in this way you can basically change the response code of any rest endpoint based on their use case so that's all for today and in the next video we will be talking about at the rate put and at the rate delete mapping so stay tuned and please like and subscribe for more java tutorial videos